Hello, and welcome back to Super Star K anymore. Here I was contract to a factory for magical girls. In the last episode, we got started. We also got new team members. Can we talk to mom and dad? No? That is a crime against humanity. I don't know. It just, this feels weird. This. Like, I mean, unless they were going for, like, ironic symbolism in where this feels, like, soulless and cheaply made, you know, because that does fit the theme in, but I don't know, just, the last game, you had, like, this world, you could, you know, you had this, like, diner, and you could, like, talk to friends and family and make new friends, and in doing so, upgrade your abilities, but now it's just, you get to see mom and dad in the background, you can talk to your friend, but she's a glorified shop, and then it's just mission after mission after mission. I don't know, it just... I don't know, it just, this feels... It... This feels like a step backwards. This feels like what the first game should have been, and then the second game would have had all the improvements, right? It feels like the first game was made after this one, because everything the first game did right, this game does wrong. But I'm also only on the second episode of me playing this, so it could be I'm entirely wrong. I've been working on my cabbage powers. If I'm lucky, enemies I attack will be transformed into a weakened state. It's what you can probably imagine. Alright. So where is everyone? Okay. All right, Cabbage Man, let's try it. You uh, turn people into cabbages, which I guess lets them take one additional point of damage every time. All right, what's your ability? Do you have an ability? Okay, that's that's it. We're... We need to actually defeat something, so let's just stick with this. Okay, so the glowing people can't be pushed. That's good to know. I have one turn left. Let's try and do as much damage as possible. Wow, we actually were able to do that. Five stars. Oh, what's going on down here? Look at this. I thought the electricity bill was too high lately. Wait, is somebody stealing our electricity? They could have been a bit more subtle about it. It's super tangly. Might take me a while to get it all unplugged. Could you maybe track down the culprit? Sure, we'll follow the cables outside and see who's on the other end. Oh. Is there a world outside? Uh, maybe not? Can I talk to any of my people? No? Alright. I can't even talk to- Toasters? Okay. Toasters? Somebody stealing electricity to power a ridiculous number of kitchen appliances? This isn't going to turn into some weird hotel themed spin-off, right? <laughs> oh god, the Hotel Mario reference. The wires head on the ground. Must we? Jump down a random manhole filled with dangerous levels of electricity? Can't see a reason not to. Heads up, I can feel some ominous magical drain in energy coming from down there. If you run out of energy, I can tag you out with another member. Alright, cool. 
sewer episode. I'm sorry, what? The toaster dungeon floor. Excuse me, why? Oh, shoot. So is my goal to take people out, or is it to take out the toasters? It doesn't seem to be a limit on how much I can move. Although I do seem to occasionally take... Don't give up. What? But I... I didn't run out of hearts. Like, what's damaging me? Like, is it a timer-like thing? Also, like, they butchered this ability as well. Because it used to be every time you got hit by a clone, the next clone did more damage. But in this one, they each only do one. Just a bit further. Oh, so I think it's like a time-based thing. Right? The hearts are a time-based thing. And the reason we have five hearts is because we have five party members. Well, if it's a time-based thing, then this character is extremely fast. Shoot. So I can just spam their abilities. Shoot. Alright, come on, get up. What hit me there? Yeah, see, once this heart runs out, it's gonna switch over. If I switch you into a cabbage, you still have your ability. That's ridiculous. All right, just gotta spam the button. Okay, go as fast as I can. Ah, oh, come on. Right, I got one last thing. Oh, do I leave like destruction in my wake? Oh, I, I it seems I teleport around a lot. Gotta spam it. Do I even get anything from being you? I... Oh, I actually dislike that, so I... I can't... Uh, because of the way I skip through stuff. I can't... I can't go one at a time. Gems recovered. 413, that's not bad. Oh, you're Cabbage Guy! That's who you are. I thought you were... Okay. Oh, it's about getting deeper into the floors. I get it. I think. So I don't think it's actually about how many... How many uh, things you destroy. I think it's about how deep into the floor can you get. Yeah, see, it's all about finding those stairs. 
But I'll destroy as many toasters as I see on my way down. And yeah, see, so it is a time thing. I don't think it's a number of actions taken. I think it's, or maybe it is number of actions taken. Alright, here, let me test something. I'm just gonna sit here. Maybe it is an action thing. Because I'm sitting here and the heart's not going down at all. Yeah, it's an action thing. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a donut stand thing. Okay, where are the stairs? Seems like I haven't been over here yet. So maybe the stairs are somewhere up here? There we go. Just a dungeon level four. Okay, yeah, so he's a real interested one. He is very sporadic. Um, also, this might be considered a flash and lights warning whenever he's on field. Um, but the faster he goes, the more trails he leaves behind, and it seems if people walk into those trails, they can take damage, which is kind of interesting, but also makes navigating with him very difficult. Yeah, 95. So I don't know if it's about how far you can get, or if this is just a creative way to collect gems. I'm sorry, do all routes lead back to the... to the place they do interesting well do we have oh we don't have our phone anymore okay so how do we go about making progress now is your temporal rift ready nope just that okay what about your upgrades? Um, well, just like in the last game, I think we should focus on, um, you know, our two best people. Cool. Um, I guess we can do some regular missions. Allow me to demonstrate the superior power of teleportation in battle. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, buddy. Your ability kinda sucks. It is kinda nice, though, that I still know how to set up these, uh... these combos. Okay... 
Show us your power of teleportation. You can't teleport to the other side, can you? Yeah, that's, um, that's disappointing. So I think I'm just gonna stick over here and attack. Yeah, see, so like he has trouble getting to the other side because, you know, you have to go in between the trees, but because he teleports, he's never in a position to walk in between them. So he kind of sucks. I think I'm going to switch him out. Time over. Gems recovered, 158. Four stars. Okay, yeah. Um, you know what? Let's spend the rest of this episode in the toaster dungeon. Because that seems fun. I don't think there's an actual thing for getting as low as possible. See, I don't think we're going to be able to beat what we did last time. Because last time, the only reason we got as far as we did last time is because there was literally a staircase right where we started. Ugh, enemies have too much health in this game. I can't believe I'm saying this. I kind of preferred the old version. Like, look at this. See, because the clones only do one damage, I can either punch this person in the face or I can spend one, two, three moves to do the exact same amount of damage. Like, that's that's not how action economy works. Like, you, you've made these characters all suck. And why am I starting with you now? not gonna be able to teleport anywhere Also, the characters got way less unique, like the enemies, right? Like, there's no longer just, you know, like a stack of cups, or, or, um, or, um, like a street sign that that teleports you, or the TV people that hypnotize you, or any of that. There's none of that anymore. Which kinda sucks. Because those were really cool, and you could, like, I mean, they got these bomb people now, but they're more annoying than they are cool. Because, you know, you get punished, like, for defeating them. See, and the counterattack people are really cool, but they're just a randomized sprite with a shield put in front of it. Not exactly the height of creativity. I'm sorry to say, but first early impressions is that this is a downgrade from the last game. Where are these stairs? Why can I not find these stairs? That's cool, I can turn the blocks into cabbages.
it seems like this is a good way to get gems especially if you only ever really focus on the uh on the feet and the people so i wonder how that modifier works i wonder what you gotta do to build it up Like, does it do a bunch of damage consecutively? Like... Is it beat an enemy and, you know, without them getting away from you? Like, what is it? I also don't like how it appears to be random, you know, who you get next. Like and look, see, this is dumb. See, this guy's going to blow up after I beat him. Right? But there's no way to avoid it because of how narrow it is. Right? Like, you know, and maybe you could have added something like, you know, this guy's ability nullifies it. You know, because turn it into a... You know, because turning it into a cabbage would nullify any and all abilities. Like, that would have been, like, a cool way to make the cabbage guy seem useful at all. But he just kind of isn't. Which is unfortunate. Because he is semi-cool. Also, but my multiplier seems to be going up a lot. That's probably because they're the only one that's upgraded. Floor 3. One, I gotta find more people to fight. Like, see, the scissors. Do the scissors mean anything? And once again, this is, like, the best character. Because, as you just saw, she works well with the bomb people. Because she can push them away, taking her out of range for their, you know, attacks. Like, look at this. I can't travel anywhere because of these dumb powers. I gotta rely on getting stuck on something just to travel up and down. Like, I'm not even gonna get to beat this guy. Two sixty-three. Not as good as I was hoping. So this is a great place to get gems, but I don't think any of this counts as battle experience. Because I think the battle experience is from the star levels of the other stuff. Also, it would be nice if the counterattack from those guys could hurt their own enemies. That would... That would add an extra level of, you know, puzzle mechanics to the game and strategy. Is there even a reason for the fee in these toasters? Like, do they give anything? Like, watch. When that guy's defeated, there are gems that come out. No gems come out from defeating the toasters. So why bother? I'm starting to think that we're not, you know, despite the whole reason we came down to the dungeon was to, you know, get rid of all the kitchen appliances. 
I'm starting to think that they don't actually matter and are only there to serve as a distraction. Because you don't get anything from them. Also, this game, by the way, this game can be played with one hand. Like, I'm not, like, I'm using the D-pad on the Pro Controller. Um, yeah, this, uh, see, the la that's the other thing. So, like, that's how simple in design this game is, is, like, literally the D-pad's the only thing you need. How many games do you know of where the D-pad's the only thing you need? Even the first one of these games, because you had to press A to stop in, in place and attack someone. So that, you know, I mean, so in theory, like, if you laid the controller down on the table, you could play the first game with one hand, but, like, it's more optimal to play with two. Unlike this game, where, like, the best way to do it is to... The best way to play this game, I'm finding so far, is to throw something on in the background, which I can't do because I'm recording. And, like, see, I'm trying to hit people and I can't hit anything. This guy's ability actively sucks. But, you know, throw something on in the background and just play with one hand. You can even be doing something else. Like, right now, if I wanted to, I could use my free hand and upload the, and upload the last episode up to YouTube. Oh, that's interesting. It does do damage. Because he destroyed the two blocks that were next to him. That's really interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah, see, so blue-haired girl is currently the best because she can kind of one-shot everything. Also, I wonder if this multiplier is like an overall multiplier that's applied at the end, or if it's only as we progress does this multiplier apply. Okay, where are these stairs? Here we go. Toaster Dungeon Level 5. We're almost out of juice. There we go. Gems recovered. 343. Not as much as I was expecting. Yeah, see our XP is... Well, actually, our XP isn't that bad. I guess we should start upgrading other people, but I kind of just want to keep upgrading these guys.
Yeah. And let's switch people out. Let's take you out, because I'm sorry, but you suck. Put you back in. Anything left on the roof? On the roof yet? Oh, hey, you're up here. Hey. Hey, Sir Cabbage. I forgot to check, but you're not too busy being joined up with us. How are you balancing things with the vegetables, uh, sench... Senshi Union? Oh, I actually took a step back from my leadership role. I couldn't keep that up forever without a break. Hope you're also taking care to know your limits. I'm good. You don't feel uncomfortable at all leaving it to new folk? It's all good. Parship Princess and that lettuce guy are sharing the workload. Plus some person in a busted old broccoli suit, an actor of some sort. I don't think they're magical, but they're good at what they do, so still very much welcome. I wonder if that's a reference to something I'm not getting. An old actor in a busted up broccoli suit. Yeah, not a reference I'm getting. Alright, so, I think we're gonna stop it here for now. You know, and in the next episode, we're probably just gonna do some more missions until something interesting happens. So, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.